to lead with speed. You okay? That's a lot of hay. It's no joke. My coupler broke. The cows need this hay. Well, it's on my way. I'll take it. You gotta watch your stack out on the track. Remember, it's tall. To tell the truth, one little goof, and the whole thing's gonna fall. Got it. I'm gonna lay on the speed. There's cows to feed. Uh-oh. Kinda watch your height. You're gonna hit that. <laughs> Trouble! Watch out for the Ugh. tunnel. You can't come this way. You'll lose your <laughs> hey. How do you moo? I got food for you. <laughs> what? <gasps> My bales of hay went away. I know what's in this. Are you looking for this? I went too fast and lost my stack. But you had good friends who brought it back. Absolutely. Thanks for bailing me out on my unstacked route. But I'm back on track. I've learned to keep an eye on my stack. We're just gonna have to put our heads together and think of something new. Between you and me, we'll find a plan B or C or D. Between me and you, we'll get this delivery through. I've got an idea. Sugar and flour will be our base stacked up right. Make a pretty sweet race, keeping eggs, milk, and butter in the right place. So I won't get more egg on my face. Between Guys, it's a long way to Harwood. Uh, I don't want to do this. We've got something else. Thomas, I think my axle is cracked. A cracked axle is terrible. Yeah, except the axles are fine. <laughs> well, my boiler is leaking. Boxcars don't have boilers. True, but my underpins are overpin. That's not a thing. No more delays. Let's go. Aw, a bolt. Uh, Thomas, your coupler is loose. No, you've been checked and rechecked. But it's for real this time. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Oh, I blame myself. I blame you, too. <laughs> I 
guys were pretending again that my coupler was broken. Your coupler broke? Oh, that's bad. But we'll fix it. Now you, I believe, Sandy. I told you not to pretend you were broken. Well, you pretended your wheel was broken first. Well, you pretended you had a leaky boiler. But cars don't have boilers. Next time, let's just go. Or the big jumps that you made It's all about the good you do And how much heart you gave And fearless doesn't mean a thing You gotta be scared to be brave Helping others and acting true That is what brave engines do Be scared but pushing through Is the telescope here yet? Not yet. Bulstrode should be here any. <gasps> Thomas, what happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You no know, buts. You have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Oh, can't believe I'm going to miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings do turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should be fine, Thomas. See, got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. Great. Thanks, Sandy.
from anywhere and anyone can be a partner on the rails with me. together and think of something new. Between you and me, we'll find the plan B or C or D. Between me and you, we'll get this delivery through. I've got an idea. Sugar and flour will be our base stacked up right. Make a pretty sweet race, keeping eggs, milk, and butter in the right place. So I won't get more egg on my face. Between you Cranky. Loading Volstrode is fun. Watch this, Sandy. Ugh. Nice lift, Carly. Maybe one day you'll be as strong as Cranky. As strong as me? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? That's a pretty big load, Carly. That was pretty big, Cranky. Can you top it? Of course I can. Look at this. <laughs> oh, take it easy now. Wow. How are you going to beat that one, Carly? Hmm. That's nothing. How about this? <laughs> Excuse me. What's happening? I'm... <laughs> How about this? Oh, yeah? Hmm. Hey, Carly, do this one next. Whoa! Get me down from here! I'll get you, Sandy. Ooh, I'm good. <laughs> I am not happy about this. Oh no, Bullstrode! Oh, sorry, pal. Whoa! Was that really necessary? No, it was not. But it was amazing. 
Ah, enough playing around. Let's work together. It doesn't have to be a contest. Ah! Oh, no. Now what have we done? I got this. I guess our lifting contest was a tie. It's not treasure. It's a monster. Roar! Ah! <laughs> it's got big teeth, but it's not a monster. The paleontologist says it's a dinosaur. What's a palonapotogalist? Palonapotogalist, Diesel. <laughs> a paleontologist is a scientist who learns about dinosaurs by digging up their bones. I love dinosaurs. This is so cool. Oh, yes. And even cooler, uh, they need some engines to deliver the bones to the Vickerstown Museum for the big new dinosaur exhibit. Sounds like a job for the Biggest Adventure Club. Yeah! <laughs> Guys, guys, we have to go to the mine. Right now, there's bones. Bones? Dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? Wahoo! Let's go. Hear me roar! <laughs> Call me the Percydactyl. The Conoraptor will show you how it's done. Thomas Rex has got this! Let's go! <laughs> See? The bones are right. <gasps> oh no! Gordon, the T Rex is gone? Gone? Someone better tell the paleo lollipopolist. <laughs> the uh, paleontologist dug them up from there and carefully arranged them for you over here. Now, everyone pick a car, but keep them in the order they are now. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. For the T-Rex to be put together properly, the paleontologists put these cars in this exact order. If you get out of order... Got it! Dinosaurs, let's dino roar! Roar! <laughs> if you kids get out of order, T-Rex won't look right. Uh, Thomas? Thomas! <sighs> Feet, tailbone, Rib. and claws, head and jaws. Feet. excited today. Just one delivery left. It's a super special party balloon for Sir Topham Hat. Look! Oh no! It's getting away! I have to get that back. Come on! Back up! Back up, back up, back up! Go, go, go! I have to get that back! <gasps> there it is! I don't got it. Hey! Come back here! We have to get it back, or Sir Topham Hat's party will be ruined. Follow that seagull! Well, hello there. Excuse me, Cranky. Will you lift me up to those gulls? I suppose so. Percy, you're scared of heights. What are you doing? I have to deliver all the mail. That means getting my... Okay, let's deliver this balloon. Come on, Locomigo. I got you. 
What's your top hat? Your special party balloon. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you. I'll add it to the others. The others? They're lovely. Oh, oh dear. Boys, would you mind? Follow that, Sir Top Hat. Oh, my. Don't worry, Sir Top Hat. We'll get you back to the party. You'll never catch me, dragon. <laughs> Running away? Come on, knights! Let's catch that dragon! Huzzah! Hmm? Huh? Must be my incredibly vivid imagination again. <laughs> oh, of course, it's just a dragon! A dragon? Run away! Ah! Dragon sighting! There! This way, knights! To the rescue! Ah! Ah! Help! Whoops. This way, knight. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Ah! 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 I got you, James. We're here to rescue you from the dragon float. Save yourselves and what? Dragon captured! We're playing dragon. And it got away from us. I see. Well, perhaps this time one of you can be the dragon and I'll be the handsome and almost unbearably charming knight. I'll be the dragon this time. Dragon? There's a dragon. Run away! Run away! Roar! Come, Knight Kara. Let's save the kingdom from the beast. Lead the way! Lead the way! If you jump out of your hiding place and surprise me, you win. But if I sneak up and surprise you, I win. That's why it's called Hide and Surprise! Okay, I'll hide first. Ready or not, here I come to surprise you. Surprise! Yay, yay, yay! It's your turn to hide. Oh, I'm going to hide, all right. Somewhere Percy will never find me. Surprise! Ah! Ah! Sorry, but it's hide and surprise, remember? I love this game. <laughs> Percy will never find me in here. <laughs> surprise! Ah! <laughs> He'll never find me here. Surprise! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Diesel's undercover. Surprise! Ah! Surprise! Ah! Ooh! <laughs> the perfect hiding place. Surprise! Ah! He's not gonna surprise me this time. I'm going to surprise him. Ha, ha, ha. Chugga, chugga. Ah. Oh. Ah. Nailed it. Surprise. Ah. Ah. Diesel? That was great. Surprise. <laughs> well, this is a fine how do you do. Hi, Gordon. Everything OK? No. Thomas and I are delivering ties to the bottom of the mine, but my headlight just burned out. I can't join him without it. Oh, well, I can help you. Stick close to me. I'll light the way. Thank you, Nia, but do be careful. This mine can be a dangerous place. <gasps> Watch out, Nia! A runaway car! Um, Gordon, that's your car. In my car? Oh, yeah, we have to catch it. Go oh, this way. Here. And there it is. Whoa. Oh, we're getting close. Come on. Ooh. Oh, I forgot how beautiful the Crystal Cavern is. It's incredible. Oops. Ooh. 
<laughs> this mine is quite spooky enough without that, Mia. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry, this is just a little setback. I think your car ended up over here. Whoa. What was that? One of the crystals. It lit up. Whoa! <gasps> Come on! The crystal cavern is gonna help us find your car and get out. Um, uh... Ding, ding, dong, ding. <laughs> Whoa! We found my car! Yes! Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Dancing! Look! <gasps> Let me try! I think we just might dance our way to a delivery. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Wow! I made a new sound! <gasps> I love it! Hey, sheep, listen! <gasps> They're jumpy today. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Hi, Nia. Don't scare the butterflies, please. Oh, wow! Hey, have you heard my new sound? <gasps> That was pretty loud. But cool. But loud. Oh, no. It was too loud, wasn't it? Well, too loud for the butterflies. I'm going to find a place where it's OK to be loud. Good luck! Oh. Here's a good spot. <gasps> Gordon, wait till you hear my new sound. <gasps> <laughs> Ania, <laughs> what's wrong? Sorry I woke you up. I have a great new sound, but it's too loud to play anywhere. Well, sometimes it's fun to be loud. <laughs> you need to find a place where being loud won't make others cranky. Cranky? Great idea, Gordon. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing here, Mia? This. <gasps> wow, nice loud sound. I like it. <laughs> nice one, Bullstrode. <laughs> Line up, racers. First engine to Vickerstown wins. Ready, set, all engines go! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hold on tight. Whoa. 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 Come on, let's catch up. Yeah. I thought the number one engine was faster than that's all you got? Not even close. Here comes super speed! Woohoo! Come on, Woo Thomas! Whoa! I can still win. Chugga chugga! Woohoo! Huh. That looks just like Thomas's light. Thomas! You forgot one of your lights! <sighs> okay, guys, first month their Vickerstown station after me is the winner! Thomas, you sure are speedy. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Number one, lots of fun. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <gasps> Come on. It's probably okay. Don't blow a gasket. Maybe we can fix it before Gordon gets here. I'm <gasps> here. Well, how did your deliveries go, hmm? Are all of the lights safe and not broken? I, um, well, 
you see. <gasps> Gordon, the truth is... The tracks were bumpy! <laughs> what? They were. But that's not how it broke. Well, this is a problem. But accidents happen. <laughs> Besides, the Festival of Lights will still be grand with your second light. Phew! <gasps> right! My second light! <gasps> Where is my second light? You, uh, you did have the second light. <laughs> Correct, Thomas? Um... Be right back! for a Sodor Skipper. A Sodor Skipper? I thought we were looking for butterflies. We are. A Sodor Skipper is a really big purple butterfly. Purple? Like me? Electric! Hmm. Not here. <gasps> Over there! It's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> wow, they get scared easily. Maybe they're just not ready for someone as fast as you. Good point. I won't go fast. <gasps> That one over there is purple! It is a Sodor Skipper! Well, it was. Maybe she heard you coming? 
I might have been too loud. Okay, so we need to be slow and quiet. <gasps> Look over there! Where? Slowly, slowly, getting closer, closer. <gasps> so beautiful! <gasps> so perfectly purple! Look out! <laughs> I guess no matter how slow or how quiet we are, we're always going to scare away the Sodor Skippers. But it sure was fun looking. There's one on your head! Electric! This rocks! I thought being number one was done so easily. Just gotta be strong when the load is heavy, revved up and at the ready. Faster than any other train, shiny with the glossy coat of paint. Taking the lead in a big delivery. This is all I thought that a number one engine should be. But being number one's not easy as it seems. You've gotta be willing to offer your help, put others before yourself. Know when you should apologize, be honest, loving, and kind. Now I can see a brighter side of me. A true friend to all is how a number one engine should be. using it. But you can take it to Whips so someone else can reuse or recycle it. Huh. Good point. You know what? Let's take it all to Whips Recycling right now. Okay. All ready to sort and recycle. Goodbye, bike. Hope someone finds you and loves you. These old bicycle wheels would make perfect engine gaskets. Goodbye, old computer monitor. Hey, I can use this for my greasifier. It's such a good idea to get rid of all this stuff. Goodbye, fridge. <laughs> this is still useful. And goodbye, shoe. Join the other... What? Where's the other... Oh. Well, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm just gonna reuse it myself. Will you? Or is it gonna end up spilled all over the place again? Not if you help me, because you are super good at organizing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. One more thing, and... Ta-da! That looks great! Thanks, Carly. And look, I made this for you. You actually did reuse that old boot and created something beautiful. And I can put it right here. Carly, no! Sandy? Maybe I can reuse some help. <laughs> My ad spy. Oh. Well. Let me guess. Another tree? Or is it rails? We've been on this route a kajillion times. There's nothing new for your eyes to spy. It was a tree. Well, my eye spy something blue. Is it me? <laughs> no, they have a beautiful smell. So, not me. Uh, Easel's right. 
There's nothing to see here except for tracks and trees. Yes, there is. It's those blue flowers right beside the tracks. Oh, I never noticed those. Mia, how do you even see this stuff? Well, we don't have those flowers where I grew up in Kenya. When I saw them, I thought they were so beautiful. And they only grow in Sodor. Okay, but really, what's a secret? <laughs> Everywhere I go, I ask myself, what's awesome about this place? Hmm, let me try. My eyes spy. <gasps> those hanging vines! Those flowers are pretty awesome. And, oh, my eyes spy, that shadow you're making, Mia. It looks just like a dinosaur. <laughs> awesome! Roar! Ooh, ooh, let me try. I spy this gravel. Oh, that's so amazing. And that rusty old switch, so beautiful. It's true. I never noticed that rusty switch before. Now you're getting it. There's so much to see if you just take a moment to look around. I know. I've been in the dark woods so many times, but everywhere I look, I see new things. It's blowing my mind. <laughs> Let's catch up to Nia. Uh, guys, you'd better slow down. Slow down? Whoa! Stop! <laughs> Bust my bumpers, that was close. Whoa! We can't show up to the plaza without those amazing orange trees. But I'm sure we can think of something else to bring. Mia's right. There must be something else we can do. No, nothing will be as awesome as those orange trees. Except maybe those orange flowers in that bush I never noticed before. <gasps> we can use flowers from Sodor for the plaza. Oh, yeah. We passed lots of plants that would be perfect. Great idea. So big, but we can handle it. You sure about that, Thomas? We know what to do at railway crossings. Stop, look, and listen. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Diesel. It's okay. You can bring the tractor. What? That tiny tractor? Ugh. See you there. Okay, steady and safe. And fun. How about a game? Red light, green light. Green light. <laughs> Steady and safe. <laughs> Thanks, Cranky. Just be careful out there. Thomas, listen. Look, Mia. <gasps> Red light. Duckies, don't you know it's not safe to play on the railway tracks? Now scoot. Green light. I love this game. Hi, ducks! Red light! Green light! No! Diesel! Red light! <laughs> nice try. Huh? Diesel! You okay? Never better! Diesel, you have to pay attention at railway crossings. When the crossing barriers are down, you have to stop and never try to cross when a train is coming. Green light! Green light! From now on, I'm gonna be super safe. Huh? Ah! Red light! Looks like somebody left the gate open and the cows wandered onto the tracks. Bad move. <laughs> <laughs> no one on the rails today but me. Just the way I like it. Your mama, you want something with feathers who says caca and mama. No, mama. No, mama. No, mama. You don't give up, do you? What's your name, little guy? Mama. Okay, I'll call you Wilson. Hello, Wilson. I'm Diesel. Now we're buddies. Next stop, random dogs to find your mama. Not your mama. More like a big brother. Mama! Wilson, you have.
have to be more careful. Mama. <laughs> no, more like a super strong uncle. Don't worry, Wilson. We'll find your mama here. Mama. Hey, Diesel. Looks like you picked up a passenger. <laughs> I'm trying to find his mama. mama. Well, I'm glad he's found his mama. They grow up so quickly. It's hard to see them leave the nest. <clears throat> you did a good thing. Helped him find his mama. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Better go pick up my delivery. <gasps> mama. Now she shouldn't be down here. She should be up at the duck pond. Okay, ducky. Take you home. A mama's work is never done. <laughs> yeah, you're a cutie. Straight to the docks and be careful. We want to surprise Sir Topham Hat when he gets back from the mainland. Don't worry. I'll be so careful. <laughs> Not confetti. What's wrong, Diesel? I thought everyone liked confetti. Everybody loves confetti. Just not in their intake vents. Thomas, I told you to be careful. I was careful. You should be careful. Like the carefulest. Oops, miss some. Now remember. Whoa! Hey, where did the confetti cart go? There. Let's go. Be careful or the confetti will explode again. Wait. Cindy's right. We have to be careful. I'm being careful. Oh, no! Ah! How is it not exploding? Ah! Okay, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> this way! A good scrub. Okay, Sandy, your turn. No! I don't want to take a bath! Aw, come on, Sandy. Don't you want to be clean and shiny like me? No! I like being muddy. It's my look. Besides, you're just gonna get all dirty again. Maybe, but I'll make you a deal. If I can stay clean all day, then you have to take a bath. You are on! Hope you don't have any dirty deliveries today. <laughs> Pigs? Aw, oh, Bolts. Bet you can't stay clean. I'm taking them to the farm, not rolling in the mud with them. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Oh, what a bright, shiny, sparkly, clean day. Easy greasy. And I'm still clean as a whistle. Have fun in the mud. Whoa, Piggy, look out! Aw, oh, Bolts. <laughs> Thomas, what happened to you? I fell in the mud, and I bet Sandy had to stay clean all day. Yes, I knew I'd win. Well, why don't you take another bath before she sees you? No, I have to tell her the truth. Are you looking for the winner? I'm right here. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> You got a much mustache. Whoa! Look, I'm all clean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wash off if I can do it like that. Let's get clean! I can clear that, no problem. <laughs> okay. It might be a little problem. Good luck with the traffic. Huh, it's nothing but grassy fields and blue skies out here. 
Right, sheep? <gasps> Cracked couplers! Where did all this traffic come from? <clears throat> you got this, Percy! I think I can! I think I can! I think I... Thanks, cow. Any chance you want to be my new BFF? Bovine friend forever? Traintastic! Although, I am a little worried about Thomas. He took the lineys for my mail route, and you would not believe how jammed it gets this time of day. <sighs> Is the traffic always this bad? Ha ha ha! You are listening! I don't need Percy. It's just you and me, sheepy old pal. Which ain't so bad. <laughs> <sighs> Percy would have laughed at that. Who am I kidding? I miss my best friend. Thomas? Why haven't you dropped your delivery off yet? Isn't it obvious? I'm stuck in traffic. Wait, where's Percy? He uh, took a little detour. Don't tell me you two haven't made up yet. Well, he started it. Or maybe I did. I wonder if he's having as much trouble as I am. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for trying, Cal. But it's no use. I'll never get this delivery done without my best buddy, Thomas. What am I gonna do, Nia? Why don't you just ask Percy for help? This is his mail route, after all. He'll know a way around it. I, I can't. We're not exactly friends anymore. And besides, He's probably made it to Normby without me. So, if Percy was nearby, would you ask him for help? Yeah. Good, because Percy's right over there. Wait, what? Percy! <gasps> I was really hoping Thomas wouldn't see me. Can you help Thomas get out of this traffic? We're still not talking. But if someone wanted to avoid the traffic, they could back up a few feet and take the siding over there to get to this track. Thomas, it's right here. Thanks, Percy! <sighs> you both are being silly. This isn't my shortcut. No, but uh, you'll see. This way is much better. But it will take us twice as long. No! 
Cole's farm is way out of our way. I gotta get back across Crovins Creek and into the forest. Hmm. Oh, uh, Gordon, I heard you delivered all the cement for the ferry terminal at Normby by yourself. That can't be true, can it? It can, and it is. <clears throat> it was no small job, let me tell you. All the cement had to be delivered in one night, and no other engines were available. Well, everyone said it couldn't be done, but I said it's blocked. This is definitely the way to go. To well, by that time, I had delivered only half the cement. It was almost morning. Time was running out, so I dug in and... What? Why are we in the forest? These bricks have to be delivered as soon as possible. Well, we'll get to Normby much faster this way. We're not going to get there at all this way. We have to go the other way. I insist. Switching right. Hey! Break it! Oh, 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 my brakes! And, uh, uh, Thomas, wait! See? We're crossing Quick Draw Bridge. Uh, yes, but we're crossing it in the wrong direction. Now, look, there's the big windmill. This is definitely the way to go. Uh, no. You're thinking of the other windmill. Back into the forest is the way to go. What are you doing? I'm taking us the new way. But this is not the right way. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Go left! No, go right. Huh? Thomas, what are you doing over there? Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, Thomas, I, I might need some assistance here. I'm coming, Gordon! Wandering off like that. I'm doing my best, Gordon. And we're back on track. Uh oh. Everything okay, Tom? Yo, oh, the tracks are closed. Stop. Phew, that was close. If I was a super train, I'd always do good deeds. Here to there and everywhere. Thanks to my super speed. Woohoo! If I was a super train, I'd use my super steam. I'd slip inside so I could hide and not be super seen. If you were a super train, you'd do a lot of good. But anyone can be a hero. Right in the so strong and fly so fast. Having superpowers is a super blast. Superpowers are great, it's true, but nothing's more super than just being you. If I was a super train, I'd always do good deeds. Here to there and everywhere. Thanks to my super speed. Woohoo! If I was a super train, I'd use my super steam. I'd slip inside so I could hide and not be super seen. If you were super train, you'd do a lot of good. But anyone can be a hero right in their neighborhood. I'd be so strong and fly so fast. Having superpowers is a super blast. Superpowers are great, it's true. But not Train, the world would cheer my name. But even if you lost your powers, 